Hey, Cam, uh, first, uh, what clicked for you and for the whole offense, really, uh, between going from the first half to the second half for you guys? Just moving the ball. I felt like we were too stagnant in the first half. We were taking four shots with two or three people in our faces. Um, they play a pack line defense. So, you know, there's really the right play is always to drive and kick it to somebody for an open shot. Um, that was our game plan coming into the game. And we didn't do a good job of that in the first half. But, um, you know, we got on each other. We got in the locker room and we challenged each other. The coaches challenged us. And we came out in the second half. And, um, you know, we knew the defense. If we played, continued to play hard on defense, it would translate to the offense as long as we uh, kept sharing the ball and trusting each other. Next question will come from Matt Shadell. Hey, Cam. Um, I want to ask something that Jim was just talking about. I guess the coaches weren't with you at the start of halftime, and um, he thinks maybe Chris Likes and 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 um, and maybe you know one of the other older guys uh, stepped up and talked to you guys at halftime and were sort of leading leading. I think you mentioned Sam Wardenberg was the other one. Mm -hmm. um, you know, can you maybe say if that's what happened and maybe what their message was and if it sort of resonated with you guys, even though they weren't playing and, and they were sort of stepped up like that? Yeah, definitely. Um, I feel like, you know, we got in the locker room. Matt was the first one to say something. Um, and, you know, that's, that's always good, you know, to have a younger guy that's challenging people. You know, I was proud of him for that. And then, you know, all the seniors just kind of put, you know, put their two cents in as to, you know, what they – and a lot of people that were sitting um, – you know, Elijah, too, he's sitting out because um, of uh, – because of transfer rules. But, you know, the guys that were on our team that watch the game and see everything, those were the guys that really, you know, said a lot because they're the ones seeing everything. We're on the court. And, you know, it's just, this is a blessing to have, you know, guys that are still so involved and care, even though they're not playing, they're not worried about their injuries or, you know, having to sit out. They're worried about, all right, what can we do to tell them to help them on the court tonight and help them get a win? So, um, you know, it was, a big step for us as a team, you know, just being able to sit there and tell everybody, hey, this is what we need to do. Let's get on board and then actually doing it. Next, we'll get a question from Wyatt Kobelman. <clears throat> Cam, congratulations on the win. I'm still shocked myself. Um, how would you compare this to a tough game last year where you may not be able to bounce back and your strong mentality this year to complete the job? Um, honestly, it's just our defense, even in the first half. They only had 32 points in the first half, right? Or 34, something like that. But either way, you know, that, that, that's 32. not bad. We can, we can, if we were playing better offense, you know, I think we're a team that can go for 40 to 50 and a half any given night. So, um, you know, I think our defense was great. We just met, we were just missing that physicality in the, in the first half. And I feel like the second half we brought that and we just brought that, that fight in us. And, you know, that's what we need to do from, you know, the first 20 minute half to, and, and lead that on to the, to the second 20 minute half. And our last question will come from Michelle Kaufman. Hey, Cam, congratulations. Um, can you talk about why do you think you guys struggled so much from three-point? Uh, you know, your three-point shooting was way down in this game. Was it something they were doing? Or was it just that you guys were – your shot was off? I think in the first half, we took a lot of restaurant ones, a lot of contested ones, a lot of ones off the dribble. Um, and, yeah, I, I, I'll give credit to them, you know. Um, I definitely, in the first couple of minutes, I was like, wow, they're actually playing good defense. So I, I definitely have to credit Purdue's defense. They did a great job. And, um, you know, we just got to get back in the gym. We didn't shoot the ball well from the free throw line either. Um, so I feel like just as a team, that's something that, you know, we've got to notice. This is our first game of team playing, man. You know, in our first real, you know, power five team that we've played. So obviously we see catching and shooting is something that we need to work on. So it's a blessing that it happened this early, a curse that it happened in the game. But, you know, at least we can learn from it and um, fix it before uh, we head into conference. Arlen, congratulations on the win. How would you say the team shifted its focus towards uh, defensive efforts in the second half when you all knew your three-point uh, field goals weren't going to be hitting tonight? Um. In the locker room, I think we just had like a heart to heart. Everybody, as players, we just um, told ourselves this is a second half. We need to really pick it up on both sides of the floor. Um, we we weren't doing terrible defensively, but second half we really picked that up and got a lot of stops that we really needed. And um, I feel I just attest that to really. I want to point two people out: it was Nas and Matt. They really challenged us as a team to step it up on the defensive end, and I feel like we responded well to that.
Next question will come from Michelle Kaufman. Hey, Harlan, can you uh, um, elaborate a little bit on that? A couple of people have or mentioned about uh, the, the talk at halftime and everything and that Matt stepped up as a freshman. And Naz, what exactly did they say? Um, if you know, I don't know if you can use the language, but what exactly did they say at halftime that, that got you guys fired up for the second half? Thank you. Uh, really just that. Thank you. Bruce. Really just that um, we're better than what we were. We're better. We have, we can bring better effort than what we put out and that um, we were very prepared. It's just a matter of actually doing it and not doing it. And um, they really just told us that we weren't doing well and we need to really pick it up. So um, I think we did a great job of that. Our next question will come from Cal Friedman. Marlon, you struggled a bit in your first start of the season. In the first half, you only had roughly two points, turned the wall over a decent amount in the first half. But in the second half, you came out much better. What does that say about your mentality to be able to turn around from a poor performance and turn it into a good one? Um, that's something I always had to do in my whole life is to learn how to um, overcome adversity. Um, second half, I feel like I, I'm always just the same person, always even killed. So... I feel like I, um, first half was first half. I didn't do a good job. And either I can respond well or I can re do even worse. So I um, told myself I'm going to decide to pick it up. So I did that. Any other questions for Harlan? Awesome. Well, thank you, Harlan. Congrats on the win. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you all.